Kevin Johnson has been in the back of my mind for a long time and I've definitely watched a lot of Johnson. I was in training camp with Johnson when uh, Vladimir Klitschko, the current champion, was preparing for a fight. So we're real familiar with each other. Um, but at the same time, I've got to worry about myself. You know, Kevin Johnson can do everything possible to beat me, but he'll only defeat me if, I, if I've gone in there weak-minded. But if I've done everything in my, in my capability to prepare, I'm strong mentally, I'm good physically, I don't think that'll be, that'll be, the, that'll be the facts of the night. He's looking at me as a raw novice in the, in the professional world. But then I go back to my amateur days and I look at the great, great guys I fought with as well and I, I beat. Um, so for me, I don't have any fear for him either. So I think it's going to be a good fight. Everyone has a style. You've got the American style, you've got the Cuban style, you've got the European style. And the European style is very upright, um, jab, straight, miss a punch. And um, what it is is that Klitschko has dominated the sport for so long. What I'm trying to do now is implement some body work. So I know I can beat guys on straight shots, you know, because I've got long levers, quite powerful with the jab. So what I like to do at the minute is work the body. Whatever combination it is, I just, if you look at my fights of recent, um, I just try to walk in and just keep them on the inside a bit. And I, I like that uppercut because it raises their head as you catch them there, and the left hook, which probably knocks them out. The hardest punch you've ever been caught with, or the worst punch you've ever been caught with? It was in probably um, as a as an amateur in the World Championship final because so the room was full, and then uh, I was an underdog, and then I got myself to Olympic qualifications, and then like as the room starts emptying because it's knockout stages, I saw my opponent and I looked at him and he's not big, he's not too muscly. I thought, yeah, this is light work. <laughs> so I believed I was gonna win. So first round, I'm out there, I'm boxing. Ch -ch -ch making mistakes but I felt good and then the second round this guy he come out and caught me with a haymaker so I spun off and it's like my my body weight met his punch and uh, as a man of pride I thought okay okay you want to you want to start trading and I just went to war with him from there on so that's the fight it was a it was a real rocky story it was really good